What's happening? Carson Daly here. Welcome to Last Call. We are all this week out of the studio. We're going to hit the streets of Los Angeles in our quest to find the best in new music. I'm walking down Hollywood Boulevard right now in the center of it all, and we got a great one for you tonight. We're just west of Ivar Street at a great place called Cinespace. This is a uh, basically a, a one-stop shop for L.A. hipsters if you're in L.A. It's a great place to come to find new music. They do art, film, food, and hopefully drinks. Come on. All right, so tonight we're devoting our entire half-hour show to a young British import who many people are saying is the salvation of pop music, which is just a ton of weight for this young lady from Blackpool, England, to be carrying on her shoulders. Here's more on Little Boots. Just over one year ago, Victoria Hesketh, a.k.a. Little Boots, was a struggling musician living with her parents in a small working-class town in northern England. She posted some videos of herself on YouTube performing cover songs in her bedroom and started to generate some buzz in the online music community. One of her videos caught the eye of a music booker from Later with Jules Holland, a popular English variety program, and her subsequent performance launched her into the UK pop scene overnight. The notoriously fickle UK press was smitten, and Little Boots began 2009 atop the BBC's annual poll of music insiders, who named her the top artist to watch in 2009 an honor previously bestowed upon Grammy winners Amy Winehouse and Adele in recent years. At present, Little Boots is an underground pop sensation in the States, but with an album due out this spring and a set of performances at this year's South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, it's just a matter of time before Little Boots fulfills her destiny as a full-blown pop star. For her first performance ever in Los Angeles, here's Little Boots. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back to Last Call. We've ditched the studio in Burbank. We're out on the streets of Hollywood, California. And tonight we're spending time with the artist from the UK that everybody's talking about called Little Boots. And I'm looking for her right now to get to know her a little bit better. So come with me. And there she is. So <laughs> Hi. lovely. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Hi, I'm Carson. Doing so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, What's too. What's happening? Welcome yes. to L.A. Tonight's the first show, huh? Yeah, first L.A. show. Wow, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Excited. You have such a great story. Do I call you Victoria or Vic or Little Boots? Whatever you like. People always call me Victoria or Boots. Which All is right. kind of weird. I quite like in America, it's like little boots. It's a bit like urban. Like no one gets that at home. I like but over it. here, well, people you're think very I'm a urban. Look at you. I like but the little I'm boots. I'm pretty urban. It's my vibe. You have such a great story, and it's been so uh, refreshing to to read about you and your 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 long history in music. Right? I mean, it started yeah. at what? At five? Yeah, I've been playing since I was five. Yeah, it's just always just been such a big part of me. You know, it's inseparable from me. The music is all one. So like let's go back. You, explain to me, uh, Blackpool, England. Okay, it's man, it's, it's mentioned like, a lot. It's like Vegas, I guess, here. It's kind of, but like bad. Like a really, really small Vegas that didn't quite work out. I mean, it's kind of a, it's a very working class holiday town, you know. But then there's something really great about it as well. And everyone's so obsessed with entertainment and with like, you know, looking for the bright side of things. And it's it's kind of a great place as well. So it's an inspiring place to come from because it's kind of, it's a beach town, but it's freezing. So who would go to the beach when it's like raining? You know, right. you'd have to be like English. Um, and so it's kind of this strange place that's got a lot of contradictions and it's something I really like to do my music as well to have this kind of you know like big pop songs with kind of dark undertones and uh, contradictions in it so I think maybe it's all because yeah, so uh, it seems to be an influence in some of the music the fact that you came from there and played music so young yeah and this town has this sort of seedy underbelly totally. with this juxtaposition of struggling and and trying to make it and, and it's like it's, the, the kind of the bright lights mixed with the reality of what goes on you know because I think everything in life is like has two sides and has a surface and an underneath and you know every single like especially being in america it's so like adverts and you know people are like gorgeous and and it's kind of but it's very like the surface and i always yeah. just want to get beneath and there's always something i've been fascinated with let me I ask this wait. victoria when you when you were playing with these bands the punk band and the jazz influence and playing harp and playing in bars and <laughs> casinos and you know there's everything. so much music yeah. and when you hit that point of Okay, it's just me. It's just Victoria. Yeah. I'm in my pajamas. I'm doing a Human League cover. Exactly. This is exactly it. Right? Exactly. What, what is that like? Because it's terrifying because you're starting back in the beginning. Mm. I, it's just kind of strange, but I think my my mum and like my family were really... My mum was like, you know, you've tried all these things and you've got to stop trying to be something else and just be yourself. And I think all these things I did, it took me that journey to just have faith in my own, like, songwriting and my own, like skills and stuff and it just took me that whole journey you know and I don't regret a single part of it and I don't think I'd be here unless I'd done every bit of it so but now it just feels like the most it's such a relief because I now I just do the most natural thing in the world I just do what comes first into my head and and anything that doesn't feel genuine I won't do and and that's just kind of the easiest thing in the world it's also the hardest because there's just you and if you make a mistake it's your fault you know right. it's no one else's fault but um it's kind of great that all I have to do is just be myself now and do what I think and trust myself here in the states the phrase pop music has a negative connotation yeah in the UK pop music historically from the Beatles to the Rolling Stones and whatnot in the states what we've done pop is the sound of bubblegum when you pop it's that yeah pop. sure so that's what we are. That's also the American way of life now, the ATM, quick, yeah. self-gratifying, here today, gone tomorrow. So we have this connotation, whether it's Britney Spears or even artists that have been around for a long time, it has a little bit of that weight to it. Like, yeah, it's here now, but it won't stick around. Mm. You seem to not have a problem with the idea of popular music. How do you think you'll change pop music here in the States? God, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, but even the things you decide,